I'm in Hollywood, California, actually walking the red carpet in front of the famous Chinese theater. In this town, there's always a possibility you could see a celebrity, but there's one place in Hollywood you're guaranteed to see celebrities galore. It's called Hollywood Forever Cemetery, and it may not be the type of celebrity sighting you were thinking of, but here lie some of the biggest names in old Hollywood. Founded in 1899, this is Hollywood's oldest cemetery, and it sits on about 60 acres. This is Carrie Bible. She gives tours here year round, and today she's gonna take me around and show us some of the more popular grave sites. Our first stop, Rudolph Valentino's Crypt. Okay, so the most popular site here is the Rudolph Valentino site. Carrie, why is this so popular? Why do so many people wanna see this one? Well, Valentino was a megastar, and he was a cultural icon at the time. He was the first megastar to die young and unexpectedly. Hollywood Forever is still a working cemetery and is the final resting place to more than a hundred celebrities. So Hattie McDaniel, the very first African-American performer to win an Academy Award? Yes, that's correct. Gone with the wind. Mm -hmm. And she was a really groundbreaking actress. And our last stop? This is the grave of Benjamin Siegel, also known as Bugsy Siegel. He was a mobster and basically the founder and father of Las Vegas as we know it. I noticed people are leaving him change. Why? Well, someone explained it to me that you leave Bugsy change and you hope that you've left him good gambling karma. Oh man, I think I have a quarter. Let's see, I would like some gambling luck myself. 